Good afternoon, I'm Nicola Watkinson and this is my colleague Paul Jarrett. This afternoon we're going to talk about uh, how we got to where we are now, from taxonomy to folksonomy, or how librarians organise things the way they do. So Paul, I believe you've got a lovely quote. Well I have, and this is from uh, a guy called Morris Lyne, who, um, who used to be uh, the director of the British Library Document Supply Centre, oh. but he was uh, also my external examiner. Um, so it's a good place to start. And he wrote quite a lot about librarians cataloguing and classification. This is his quote. It seems quite wrong. The product we should be aiming at is service of readers, the communication of knowledge uh, to readers, and catalogues either serve a purpose Ooh. or they don't. Now, he also said, the trouble is that we tend to regard the catalogue as a product of the library, yes, uh, as a yes. bicycle factory makes bicycles, oh. so a librarian makes a catalogue. Now, I think that's quite interesting, that mm -hmm. quote, because mm -hmm. it kind of, uh, you know, when people come into our libraries, I'm sure they think we've set the place up uh, as uh, a bit of a joke, or at oh, the very no, least... No. To, so they have to come and ask us a question about yeah. where where the book is yep. or yeah. you know yeah. in this day and age maybe where things are on mm -hmm. the internet mm -hmm. they're less likely to do that mm -hmm. we'll talk about that in a minute so that that's uh, where I wanted to start but I think the important thing to remember is there's a basic human need to organize things mm -hmm. this goes way back to the um, Sumerians who had clay tablets with right. some of the early forms of writing oh, on yep and uh, as soon as they started to do that, it's archaeological evidence they actually put, started to put them in order. And we could right. even go back to cave paintings, you know, yep. because actually there's mm -hmm. a certain order to those mm -hmm. as well. The first real library that and is significantly written about and anybody knows about is the, uh, the, the Library of Alexandria. They're rebuilding that, aren't they? I think they are. It burnt mm. down, but it was uh, mostly scrolls mm -hmm. because in the first century BC, the, the obviously books didn't mm. exist. Mm -hmm. uh, but they they did. There is evidence that they organised the scrolls in a particular mm -hmm. way. So this this is something as old as human history. Um, so that's that's the mm -hmm. the reason mm -hmm. I think we we there's, there's two bits to this. One is about describing things. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes we as librarians get a bit bogged down, that's, wouldn't you say? That's cataloguing, isn't that's it? That's cataloguing. Right, that yes. That is cataloguing. Um, uh, and so really, uh, you know, librarians have had ch challenges over how they mm. do this over, mm -hmm. over the years. You know, the Bodleian Library, the big library in uh, Oxford University, mm -hmm. when they first started collecting books, because there weren't many of them, they put one book on the shelf, and uh, that was shelf one, book one. And it's still organised that, probably shelf 20,000. But it sounds a good way to organise things. Yeah, yep. but what happens then mm -hmm. when you want a book about a particular subject? Oh, yes, different oh, areas. Yeah. You need a catalogue. You do, yes. So that's why these things have mm -hmm. come about. Um, not saying it's right, mm -hmm. and we'll, 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 we'll come on to mm -hmm. that. So this, this kind of grew uh, over, over the years, and we ended up with things like this, my first prop. Oh, you know what? I remember that at Leeds Polytechnic Do you? many, many is, years ago. This is the Bible. Yes. And it's not far off the Bible. Anglo American cataloging, cataloging AACR2. rules. AACR2. AACR2. Well, uh, yeah. yeah. That's now, this, right. is, um, this tells you, if ever you feel the need, how to describe everything from a sheet yes. of music down to a pencil. Yeah, you see, Pencil? you're excited, aren't you, about this? Well, it brings back happy memories. <laughs> does it? It does, does it? yes. Um, this is this is 1998. Mm -hmm. Subsequently, there have been a lot of people who've tried to. We've had something called RDA, which yep. is another way of trying to describe things. That's for use in the internet, isn't it? With yeah. all the digital resources yeah. we have, yeah. And I think you know the internet has obviously changed things enormously. Mm. I think once the computer started to mm -hmm. come in, um, it moved towards uh, something called um, Mark Readable Records. Right. Do you remember those? Yes, we I do. We still kind yes. of use that. Yeah, we do. Yes. I think yep, it is. Yep, yep. So actually, that's then a way of. It's still the same though. So yeah. You take a book, for example, and that is author, title. Yeah. When was it published? Yeah. Where the was imprint, it published? Yes, yeah. The imprint. Yes. Yeah. Um, and you add to that maybe key words. Mm -hmm. Even in the days before computers, people put subject yes, headings in. Yeah. Um, so that, that allows people to come in from the point of view of, uh, I want that book by, yep. or I'm interested in that subject. Right. So, so that's describing things. Yeah, that's describing okay. things. So how do you think we organise things? 
Well, this is equally interesting, and right. I want to go right back in Again. history, not as okay. far as the first century BC. <gasps> I'm not sure they had classification. This is classification, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay? And actually, what classification is is a uh, it's almost like a philosophical science. Oh. Yeah, you see, you didn't know this. You did, well, you did know this, <laughs> but uh, I don't think people realise mm -hmm. that uh, when they go into a library mm -hmm. and there's a few numbers on the back of a book, that actually this comes from. Uh, as far back as uh, someone called Carl Linnaeus. Right. Oh, I've heard of him. Swedish naturalist, wasn't he? Yes. Swedish, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. One of those well, biologists. Sort of um, yeah. enlightenment figures mm -hmm. that was interested in everything. Right. Yes. Uh, Carl Linnaeus is famous, uh, and this goes back to when I used to work in London Zoo Library. In fact, his, uh, <laughs> you know, all the animal mm -hmm. species. Uh, it started with him um, putting categories, you know, genus of species yeah. and then subgenus and right, so forth. Right, okay. This all goes so a cat relates to a, a line, that's the sort of yeah. classification, the, the, yes. The yeah. Philidia, that's no, right, Felix, yeah. Felix yeah. yeah. And then, um, so this, you can see where this comes from in the yes, history, it's yes, about the need yeah. to understand uh, where we are as mm -hmm. human beings in the order of yep, things, yep, or where yep. all everything fits. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that's it. It's human, good, human yeah. Beings, some people's houses don't quite reflect that, but you know. Well, generally, people speaking, are different though, aren't yeah. they? But um, I think it helps, doesn't it, to have a classification? It does, Definitely, it does. yes. And I think um, so. It really all springs from people like him, and mm -hmm. you're looking at the 18th century, mm -hmm. the age of reason, where, where mm -hmm. everyone was looking at everything. This is really where uh, things like the Dewey Decimal Classification, yes. which we use here in Glyndu. Lots University, of public libraries public as well libraries use do, that, yeah. And it's confused mm -hmm. uh, library users for many, many years. Oh. But it was actually created by a guy called Melville Dewey, mm -hmm. who was an educationalist. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, someone mm -hmm. trying to understand yep. the world and yep. put it into order. And that works on a basis of numbers, uh, three numbers, a decimal point, mm -hmm. and then yeah. um, I've got an example. Oh, good. Uh, if we, this is Let's have a look. one of four volumes right. uh, of the Dewey Decimal Classification 22nd edition. You can, uh, I'm not sure we're selling it's, librarians. It's on, well, online, this as well, it's isn't all it? Yeah. And uh, so, if you want to put something. Now, one of the challenges with mm -hmm. that is that obviously uh, subjects come along, like computers, yes, for instance. Yes, yeah. And it isn't always easy to slot right. in, and but it, they've adapted yeah, over yeah, the years. Yeah. You know. um, the other big scheme that was created was the uh, Library of Congress classification mm -hmm. scheme that's used in. Um, large portion of university mm -hmm. libraries across the world based on the Library of Congress in Washington and in, in that uh, situation basically that's how they decided All to right. organise things right. um, and that's a scheme of letters, numbers and decimal points. Right. Uh, so it's a mixture? It's a mixture and and I, I, slightly less flexible mm -hmm. than perhaps right. Dewey's system. Yep. Now, all of this, as I said, it's like the fa a, a tax taxonomic tree. So this is right. what taxonomy yep. is yep. Of, of things and the then sub Description, yes, things. yeah. This gets a bit out of hand, right. to be quite honest. And uh, there's a wonderful um, Indian uh, librarian who is still revered in India and across the world, uh, S.V. Ranganathan. Oh, yes, yep. Who created the Five Rules of Library Science, which is a whole separate talk. <laughs> Um, and he created something called the colon classification. Oh, yes. And this l was the ultimate philosophical outworking mm -hmm. of how to organise mm -hmm. stuff. I've brought a homemade device along. Oh, really? Yes, yes I know you've been looking forward to this. <laughs> so, um, this is an example it's of quite a number. This, isn't it, it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Get down, Shep. Um, so, so this, this has got numbers, letters, numbers, punctuation, letters, um, commas, um, and a colon. What, what is this a, a, describing? This is, or, or <laughs> you're not going to believe this. Yeah. This is the um, pronunciation in Yorkshire dialect. <laughs> and I, I'm showing this to you because this is probably the extreme. It's. Uh, it's. I mean, I'm thinking the spine yeah, yeah. of the book. Yeah. How would you get that on? You the back wouldn't. Of you'd a have book? to go long ways, wouldn't it? That's incredible. Yeah. And it's probably difficult for users yeah. to find? I, I, I don't think there's many libraries that use this. <laughs> um, I think, well, the, thank um, you for I think that. there are some in India. There you go. But I think we ought to get back to reality, yes, don't you think? Yes, I think we I should, mean, do, yeah. do, do you think that, uh, what, what do you think the big change has been in the well, last... Well, it's the internet, yeah, isn't the it? Internet, and people, yeah. 
go to use bookshops and they, yeah. the information is organised in different ways there. Yeah. And, um, and, and what, I mean, obviously, yeah. I, I suppose with mobile technology and, yeah. and everything, yeah. it's got easier and easier and easier, hasn't it? Um, people, I suppose, with the social media, the web too, yeah. people now, they're creating their own knowledge and yeah. they're classifying it in their own way. Well, and that's the folks on them. That's it, they're like delicious. Yeah, Delish, delicious and Diego are yeah. uh, both um, yeah. bibliograph. well, they're, they're describing yeah. tools. So yeah. if you find a website, you have the ability to put your own keywords stuff, yeah. and be able to find it for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Or even as simple as um, maybe you have a Twitter page mm -hmm. and you put a hashtag on and then you can find Describing that from it, that. Yes. It, describes it. it could be a load of rubbish to a lot of other people, yeah, yeah. but actually it mm. could be a group of people. And so actually if you've got to the point now with Folksonomy where it actually makes sense to the person and that's the way they want mm. to organise mm. it. It doesn't have to be written in four so volumes. It's, of evol it's evolved, hasn't it, from it has. the yeah. book one, on shelf one yeah. to now, you know, we've had the, the different systems and now people in a way can create their own yeah. classification You systems. still have the problem though, if you've got yeah. several hundred thousand mm -hmm. books, how do you put them in order? And most yes, of the yeah. collections that are around the world have been going for a few years, mm -hmm. so the physical objects do have to kind of be in an order. Yeah, yeah. And I suppose some of the newer libraries, things like Liverpool City Library is a good example, yeah, where yeah. they've actually experimented with putting things in rough subject groups. Yes, And yeah. not particularly in a Dewey number order. Yep. Um, so people who want to look at books on health. They're there, aren't so they? They're yes, a bit like yeah. bookshops. Yep, yep. Um, and um, actually at the back of that, though, there's a catalogue. That's right. On a computer. And it's probably got Dewey numbers. So, yeah. so I can't so, see we're going to get no, rid of it. No, I think but it we will have exist. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So there we are. That's yeah. a very quick history. Thank you very much. Well, yeah. I learned a lot. That was Thank great. You. Yeah, it's been great talking. Thank to you. you. Thank you.